Hey everybody, it's uh, Rob T in BC. Yes, it's me. I do web hosting support for islandhosting.com. Uh, great web host if you're looking for web hosting. But what I wanted to do is talk to other people that provide tech support and perhaps, you know, struggle because they're reading tech documents verbatim and, and they're feeling that they're just not offering good support. Um, and, and want to learn their way around software but you can't install all the applications on your desktop now there's a little cheat website that I use um, now you'll see in front of you here um, I'm looking at chasms.com it's an absolutely fantastic website um, it's been around for years I've been using it ever since I started um, 15 years ago doing doing support and uh, it's it's well maintained definitely recommend if, if you guys start using it to get on the website and uh, donate now you may need an ad blocker because the the person that runs the site obviously is getting a lot of their um, a lot of their money through the ads if you don't mind ads that's fine because then you're obviously supporting them that way uh, but what I wanted to show you is the extent of what this site has on it so it has uh, operating system so Mac OS you know you may not have a, a Mac at your dis disposable but you may need to support all these different platforms uh, Ubuntu platforms uh, different tablets uh, email so let's let's just go through Outlook for example say somebody phones up and they want to configure their email for Outlook and you need to remember the screens in your head um, it can be really difficult so so this website is a, a godsend um, so email outlook uh, outlook 2016 and i'll bring up the latest version of outlook and the nice thing about this website is the person that's developed it has made uh image overlays so i can click on the file tab i can go into account settings account manager and it comes up with this and i can pick the account go change and you basically can walk through it as you would um, as you would the person so you, you may not be able to connect to their desktop remotely you know some people don't want to do that they don't want to let you into their computer um, and so this this is a real virtual way and I, I've done this with people and they're like can you see my desktop they're, they're really really um, a little disturbed in, in the sense that I can give such good support and walk them through screen by screen uh, getting them to where they need to go so uh, yeah chasms.com is definitely something to keep in your back pocket um, for example let's do a Mac and Max you know I, I can't have a Mac on my desktop and I can't have all the um, all the uh, the Mac OS versions but let's do Mac mail We've got a mail menu, preferences, accounts, and then we see in accounts, it's got enable this account. I've got mailbox behaviors, server settings. I can even go to the uh, edit SMTP server list. Now, just as an aside, there's a bit of a weird thing with this version of Mac Mail. Is you see here, it says username, password. Um, if you go into edit SMTP, uh, there's actually a second place for the SMTP usernames and passwords and You can change it in one place, but if you don't change it in both uh, It's it, it doesn't sometimes stick uh, I, I hate the Mac mail in the sense that it, it You go in and some of the changes just don't stick and you have to go in again and make the same change again um, So what I recommend people do with with this particular um, Configuration is go in make one change come out save settings go in again e even restart the Mac mail go in again uh, go to mail preferences accounts again so mail preferences accounts and then make another change for example make this change and close the window and it'll ask you to save changes so you, you kind of have to kind of bully it a little bit it's like um, being a bully in the playground and kind of kicking around <laughs> Mac mail to make it submit and, uh, and do what you want it to do um, and I've never been a bully but in this case uh, it works so um, yeah there's a, a little kind of run through on this website definitely a fantastic website to have in your back pocket and and having the smartphones like the iPhone iOS's, the Samsung's you know the popular 
platforms like this and even they've added game consoles which you know is is crazy the the some of the stuff in here some some of the applications so, so yeah definitely look at it there's another site that is very similar um i think it's still around um it's called modem help goes back to the days of dial up modems yeah modem help here it is and uh similar stuff on here so if i go screenshots and modem help screenshots.modemhelp.net yeah this has been around for ages so it's a little bit older in some of the stuff so outlook express accounts mail tab but it has a similar feel to it so another one to have in your back pocket is uh modemhelp.net hope that's helpful to people uh, if you like the video please uh, give it a thumbs up if you want to see more videos like this because this is the first one I've done and I want to see if it, uh, it's something that people like. Um, definitely do give it a, a thumbs up. Uh, comments are appreciated. Um, would really like to hear from people that have kind of found this, this really useful. And subscribe to the channel if I do any more of these. If they're popular, you'll then, uh, you'll then uh, find out about them if you click the little bell on the channel as well for getting those notifications when I put up new videos. So I appreciate you guys watching and would love to hear some feedback from you all. And uh, yeah, take care. Peace out.